Today we begin a special series, Who Can You Trust? We'll start with one of the single most important decisions you can make, who to trust with your health care. Sometimes that decision is based on too little information and the consequences can be dangerous, even deadly. According to the Federation of State Medical Boards, more than 5,300 doctors were disciplined for unprofessional conduct, medical negligence, and sexual misconduct in 2004. Some of the worst cases have been documented in news reports and captured on videotape. And all are a reminder to be careful of who you trust with your health. NBC's Lester Holt reports. It's the stuff of tabloid headlines, sensational claims of medical mishaps. But behind the headlines and TV cameras are private stories of real pain. He was so loving. He was my heart. In 2001, Patty and David Skolnick's son, Michael, went to the hospital for what they claim was initially a minor incident. Michael had passed out after attending college one afternoon and called us. We took him to the emergency room. They did a CAT scan. The Skolnicks say when test results showed a small cyst, a doctor they had only just met gave them the worst possible news. He walked in and this man said by the pictures, we have to go in right now and relieve the pressure on his brain and we have to operate on him by Friday or you're going to lose him. What was meant to be a three hour surgery, the Skolnicks say turned into a three year uphill battle, leaving Michael virtually helpless. They herniated his brain stem right at the base of the neck uh, from so much pressure on his brain. He was 50% blind, he was hemiplegic, he was psychotic, he would have no short-term memory. In an ongoing lawsuit, Michael's surgeon denies malpractice. The Skolnicks believe their son died as a result of unnecessary surgery. He had gone into multi-organ failure, he had become septic. They don't know why, except his body just wasn't functioning and it had just given up. And he fought again after all the other things. Um, and I believe he fought because he knew we weren't ready. When Michael went, it was just like, it was the beginning of the end for me. Uh, emotionally, I was just destroyed. Though allegations of malpractice can be hard to prove, a 1999 study by the Institute of Medicine found that more people die each year from medical mistakes than automobile accidents, breast cancer, or AIDS. You can find out much more information comparing the safety of one car with another than you can comparing the safety or record of one hospital with another or one doctor with another. This man, operating without a license, fled to Costa Rica after a patient died during a cosmetic procedure. He's charged with murder. Also operating without a license, and we'll do a pap smear. police video caught a storage facility manager in Texas posing as a gynecologist. <laughs> Often defenseless, seniors can become easy targets for neglect and even abuse, caught here by a hidden camera. Though rare, stories like these leave many wondering who they can trust with their health care. Too often the answers are hard to find. For today, Lester Holt, NBC News, New York.